replaced by Harold, and I'm still going to use his old nickname, not the new one, Bomber Graham. Passing now the principal first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the red and white trunks, weighing in at 12 stone even, or 168 pounds. In 47 contests, his professional record reads 41 victories, 6 defeats. He has 28 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Providence, Rhode Island, a former two-time champion of the world and challenger. He has been in the city of the Inca. Of the Inca. His opponent in the red corner wearing the green plaid trunks. Wayne that night. In many ways, they're maverick personalities of a different kind, these two, aren't they? They really are. Pazienza's got to try and deal with the, the style of Graham. And Graham landed with a good, long left-hand shot. The very unorthodox style that Graham has. American referee, with a word of caution, for Graham. He's looking to keep it at range, predictably enough behind his slippery southpaw style. As the Inter can't reach him so far, and Graham just occasionally picking him off on the way in. 
find it very difficult. He's got to try and cut the ring off. He's got to try and get to Graham. Did reach him with the right hand to the body there. Sometimes Graham's own punch power has been underestimated down the years. Hera would have won the first round, I think. Second out, round two. Quiet opening round. Something of a phony war. Here's the second, Pacienza in the white trunks and Sheffield's Harold Graham in the tartan. Newly married, Graham says that he's settled down a good deal. He said a lot of his big fights in his past, he had a lot of domestic problems with relationships that had messed up his mind. Now he's very happy and settled and really believes he can have a successful second career. But tonight really is a defining night in that second career. Pazienza has to start to work the body. It's very difficult to get to Graham's head. He moves it very well, but the body's much more difficult to move. So Pazienza would do well to just direct his punches to the body for the time being. Just try and slow Graham down. Graham is out of reach with his own jab for a lot of the time here. Caught by the right hand there, and I just wonder whether the old Harold Graham that we all remember in the 80s would have taken that shot. Graham will look to bring that left hand into play as well. I'm using the south court jab well there. He's got to use his reach, his height advantage. Keep it at long range. Don't let Pazienza get close to him. Amazing to think that when Graham was coming through in Brendan Ingle's gym, Nassim Hamed was a, a little boy of seven years, eight years of age, just hanging around unnoticed in the gym, idolizing Harold. Amazing that they're still both fighting and topping big bills this December. How soon before Pazienza really starts to gamble? He's being frustrated by Graham at the moment, but as I was saying, he kind of knew this would happen. Chris Graham is doing the right thing. He's just trying to pick him off from long range. He's bringing the, the left hand into effect very well. That's a good straight punch, and he's managing to catch Pazienza, who at times is, is getting a little square on, trying to combat the south force stance. Still has that capacity, Graham, to bring in punches from unexpected angles when people do try to close the range on him. Two rounds gone. I've given them both to Harold Graham. And uh, now here's the record that has been going on over a period of 19 years. Look at that. He was an ABA middleweight champion right in this very arena in 1978. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? He was in 15 rounders. I think he won his first British title against Pat Thomas in 1981. I'm ashamed to say I remember those days. <laughs> 1990 when he lost the second world title bid to Julian Jackson when we thought after that it would all be over it was a very dramatic knockout one we thought we'd never see him in the ring this late I tell you what that was amazing I was there in the south of Spain that night he absolutely made Julian Jackson look stupid for three and a half rounds he made him look like a novice and then it was one punch and lights out and over and that very much is what can happen in boxing I think Harold will remember that in Norse that it can always happen. He just got careless that night. It was stupid, really. He should have been world champion because Jackson was so badly cut there. We would have been over in another round anyway. Just had to stay out of trouble and didn't. Third round here. Yeah, yeah. 
Graham, by the way, being watched tonight by another Sheffield boxing hero I've seen at ringside. Uh, not boxing hero, sporting hero, Sebastian Coe. Sometimes it seems in Harold's fights, he's run almost as far as Coe. Harold's got to try and frustrate Trazienza. He's got to make him box his fight and be looking for, for Graham. Too much dancing, even Graham, is he? At the moment, he can conserve his legs almost if it's like this. That's the end of rushing in, swinging wildly, but he's not connecting with these punches. Graham trying to keep the, the center of the ring, do everything from there, and that will reserve his energy somewhat. for him to sustain the tactics over 12 rounds. Frustrated look on the face of Pazienza. World champion at lightweight in 1987 and then at light middle in 1991. He failed three times in attempts for the light welterweight crown. And was beaten by Roy Jones when he went for the IBF super middleweight title. No shame in that, of course. Of the modern era. just using the ropes there to give himself a little bit of leverage and then to get out of that corner, pushing himself off the rope, showing his experience in doing that. Pazienza is finding what so many fighters before have found that it is very, very difficult to hit Errol Graham. Very little scoring from either one in this round, very negative round, both missing a lot. Still good enough for Graham to make Pazienza miss embarrassingly. It must be infuriating to fight Harold Graham. I remember Tony Simpson once uh, famously describing him as a glorified limbo dancer. Graham against Vinny Pazienza in the ring now at Wembley. And at ringside, Sem Coe watching another former Sheffield sporting hero. I saw Davy Jones, the old lead singer of the Monkeys, there as well. I think they'd stopped having hits by the time Harold made his debut. Somebody will correct me, please don't write in. Tartan trunks of Graham and Pazienza is finding this as frustrating a night as he kind of thought it would be. So far, anyway. Doesn't that give the, the third round as a, an even round? Because Graham is in a little danger he's not working himself it's okay making Pazienza miss frustrating him but he's got to continue working he's got to build up the points and he's got to do those scoring punches with a jab and bring the left hand into play Pazienza looking to up the tempo will be wanting to cut Graham off on the corners and start slowing him down with some body punches Graham himself is boxing very conservatively though so far. Fairly respectful of Pazienza's reputation. Could be plenty of ring rust there as well for Pazienza among his other problems. He's been out of the ring for 16 months. He says he's worked very hard and has been given his sparring partners a tough time in training with him. Fighters do say those kind of things press conferences three days before the fight. Pazienza lunging forward there, having a really reach to try and get to Graham. He's still at times going for Graham's head, and he'd be better suited going for the body. It's much more difficult to move that. He's trying to make Graham come to him a little more. Hence the dance around the ring ropes just now. And Pazienza looking for the counter. I think he knows he has to try something different to break up the pattern here. I think Graham thinks that all the time 
fight. The fight is out here. He'll be the boss. Still just trying to pepper Pazienza with that jab. Pazienza getting a little closer there. Would like to see Graham himself do a little more, or is this so far so good, do you think? Well, I think it's early stages, but Graham maybe just trying to play a few mind games, just frustrate Pazienza. And I think to that point it'll be working, but he's still got to remember he's got to pick up the points. Pazian is starting to get that that little bit closer, starting to score with those right hands. It's a slightly conserved look on Graham's face as Pazianza did find him with the right hand. Welcome back to the Wembley Arena. Punches landed so far, not too many. 36 by Graham and only 13 by Pazienza. Only a 14% success rate. That's one of the lowest we've ever seen, I think, on the computer. That's testimony to the elusiveness of Harold Graham. Graham, who says he hit rock bottom financially when he had to go into retirement he lost his jewelry business he said he lost a lot of friends as well lost some self-esteem now he tries to get it back the best way he knows how and Pazienza who's a millionaire well, that's how I have it I'm not giving a great deal to Pazienza just giving him a, a share of the third round Graham still can't forget he's got to be busy himself he can't just rely on picking with the jabs hand in the play you may wish to see a bit more of that from Graham he gets more busy at the start of this round some blood from the mouth and nose by the look of it of Pazienza so one of those punches has caused some damage Still, there's not a great deal of work from either. Lots of pausing. They're trying to find ways in. Pazienza a little frustrated. Didn't know how to, to get in past that, that jab. Made to miss by a mile by Graham. Sometimes it seems you couldn't hit him with a box of confetti. Well, beginning to get behind Graham. He's a popular figure, much more popular, I think, now than he was when he first started out. People thought he was a, a bit of a bore, to be quite honest with you, in his early career. They knew he was talented. He's starting to do some more impressive work here. Yes, he's starting to, to catch Pazienza around the face. Just a few little bumps and, and scratches around the face of Pazienza. So maybe Graham can... can start to, to bang him up from long range every so often Pazienza tries a few verbals Graham is really a master craftsman and technician he knows what he's doing in there doesn't mean he's going to win has a lot of the speed maybe it's not the speed he had when he was 25 but he's fast all right and that's graham's round as the answer goes back to the wrong corner was he that confused surely not well he's having to go in a few different corners during this fight because he's having to chase graham long and hard there's kevin rooney who was very famous with Mike Tyson, a, a great partnership they were. He, he really worked Tyson so well. It all ended very acrimoniously, of course, which is why he's not there anymore. Doing some good skills in defense here, just making a miss, 
turning to the side and then coming back with counters. And again, Pazienza rushing forward, trying to find a, a big hook, and Graham just making a minch, miss by the, the slightest amount and swerving out of the way. Good defensive skills from Graham. I think why Pazienza went to Graham's corner at the end of the round was that Graham's trainer, Glyn Rhodes, was taunting him. I think there was um, a little exchange there. Sixth round. Ben Rhodes just shouting things still at Pazienza. You don't look so tough. Come on, Benny. That's, uh, that's right, Jim. Come on. How much does Pazienza still want this with so much money in the bank and with a movie career on the go as well? It will be in the second half of the fight if his game plan was going to work, but he would start to get to Graham. Let's see if that happens in the next few rounds. That was probably the, the best Pazienza punch so far, that long right hand, but he's having to reach so far to try and connect to Graham. Now fighters do go on longer these days, George Foreman winning a World Heavyweight Championship beyond the age of 40, his second is Pazienza landing with the right again. Because he was trying to get close, trying to, to threaten almost, but still not able to get close enough to land a punch. getting him with a right hand there and a very good right cross from Graham there that was a reminder to Pazienza that on the way in there could be problems for him a lot of these jabs by Graham might not be scoring punches they're pitter pat range finders a lot of them yes he's just trying to see if the eye for straight Pazienza Pazienza landed with some more solid punches in this round. He's getting a little bit closer. He's got to try and put more together if he wants to, to connect and hurt Graham. He's just not quite getting close enough. Graham in control, but leading. But Vinny Pazienza, with his style, is the kind of fighter who might yet prove dangerous and who could yet turn this around. Smart counters for Graham here. Pazienza really going for broke. This is pulling a China shot stuff from Pazienza. He decided then that he'd be quite happy to walk through a few just to get to Graham. He's trying to wear him down now. Ooh, better from Pazienza now. He's getting close to starting to land with punches. And he still wants to swap words with the Graham corner. This is hotting up all the time. Let's go to Barry McGuigan and see how he's reading it. Yeah, Ian, I, I, I've always felt that the fight wasn't going to really liven up until the second half. I just, it just has unfolded the way I thought it was going to unfold. Uh, Graham was frustrated and got into a nice, comfortable lead at this stage. But it's the first round where Pazienza has actually started to get to him, started to hit him with punches. And I really feel that now is when the fight will start to liven up. And really, uh, obviously, um, Pazienza has a lot of ground to make up. And this is when it will become exciting. I feel it will really start to hot up now over the next couple of rounds. Thank you, Barry. Marked up around the face, Pazienza. He's been through a few ring wars in his time. Don't worry about that. Ten seconds. Go, Kevin. But definitely getting closer, Pazienza. Starting to land with some blows now. Caught with a, a nice little counter from Graham on the way in. And I think Pazienza will get more confidence from that round, thinking he can get closer to him into the second half of the fight. Remember, it's the junior world title, WBC International Super Middleweight Championship they're fighting for. And that's how I've got it. i still got Graham a, a good lead at this stage.
man himself, he's boxed well within himself. Cool, Iceman type tactics from him, and look at that smart counter punching from him. Beautiful right uppercut, just lent away, found the right uppercut through the gap. Gets, uh, with the right hand. He's gambling more, has he, Enzo now, isn't he? Well, I think he feels he, he has to. He's not going to be able to outbox Graham. He's got to get close. He's got to rough him up, get him out of his stride. Otherwise, he's just going to be outboxed at long range. There's a real danger for him coming in, though, and gambling like that, that Graham nails him with a big counter shot. Those punches there. Pazienza has tried to get close, and boof, boof, right, left from Graham. Well, at this point, the concentration of Graham is still very good, keeping centre ring, boxing as he wants to. He's just got to keep that concentration. Can't have any waivers in that whatsoever. Pazienza looks to wear his opponents down, usually, but he find that hard if he can't land the shots. Seems to be more blood around the face of Pazienza. I'm not sure if it's off the nose, but he's certainly starting to, to mark up. Graham almost seems to be doing this in second gear, doesn't he, at the moment? Oh, he got hit with the right hand there. Put on the ropes. This is where Pazienza wants to be, isn't it, Graham? Sorry, and yes, now he's getting to him. This is better when he can when he can start to land with two punches. It's better for Pazienza. And the left hand, catching Graham there right at the end of the round. But Graham wants to fight back. The bell went in the middle of all that. Pazienza wants to carry on. They didn't hear the bell, I don't think. And Pazienza felt there that he got to Graham right at the end of the round. Although, Harold did come back with two good counter shots. Well, I guess it's really starting to liven up now. Pazienza wanted to go after Bell. Graham caught him just at the break. And he was very angry by that. But I think Pazienza was starting to get to Graham. I think he maybe hurt him with one good shot in the corner and the, the bell went just at that point but it was good work from Pazienza Graham still keeping cool under pressure but Pazienza just the feeling he's getting that much closer Corner, 10 seconds. it's that left hand actually looking at it again it seemed to be more of a slap it didn't, wasn't such a good punch as it looked first time up Graham, who's beaten people like Hunter Clay, Lindell Holmes, Sanderline Williams, Ayab Kaluli, Mark Taylor, and on his comeback, Chris Johnson, said 17th championship fights. Then scorecard with Graham in a two-round lead. I have it a little wider. Eighth round. Is this Pazienza territory in the fight? Judges, by the way, are from USA, Belgium, and England's John Key. As he ends up being made to miss. And now he wants to showboat, and he's inviting Graham in because he wants the counter punch in. Graham's having none of that, been around too long. Yes, Graham just trying to keep at his fight. He knows what he's got to do. He can't afford to go looking for Pazienza. He's just got to let Pazienza chase him, do what he does best. A few mind games in there going on. Some people wondered whether Pazienza, who brought his fiance across, was uh, just having a nice paid holiday in London. But I don't think that's really in his fighting makeup. I think he's got too much pride for that. 
practice. I don't think that's his nature. He's a he's a fighter through and through. Anybody from, who can come back from horrific injuries to his neck and spine, told he'd never never walk again, never mind box. And then to be here in a fight has got tremendous character. Still just pitter patter jabs, really, from Graham. Well, I think that's the danger, Ian, that there's nothing coming back from Graham. The defensive works very, very good, but they're not real scoring punches, the patter jabs. He's just fainting with those, trying to make Pazienza do something. He's got to keep scoring himself. Maybe Graham needs a few more solid shots to take the eye of the judges, particularly maybe the American, who... Well, they tend to score on aggression over there, and somebody knocked an advertising warning into the ring, and Graham nearly fell over that. Well, he's making Graham fight at a faster pace now, Pazienza, but how much is he really landing? Not at all, is he? Yes, he's getting through with some into the body. You've got to look what Graham's doing as well. And you know, they're not really scoring punches. Difficult, a difficult round. Graham needs to do more. Fatingly poised. Graham's landed a lot more punches so far. A lot of them, though, have just been Corner. kind of range finding jabs rather than really meaty shots. Pazienz has been on the chase all the time, but he's found it hard to land, you know. Yes, there wasn't a lot of scoring punches from either man in the last round. Too much grease, I think, around the eyes of Pazienza, referee from Dallas, Lawrence Cole, wants that wiped away. Pazienza camp were not altogether happy with the choice of referee, simply on the grounds they said that they'd never heard of him. Neither had we, but he's doing OK, I think. Two good punches from Graham there. Reflexes were good. I think if they're putting lots of grease around the face of Pazienz, they're obviously worried that the, the skin might start to open up and cuts could become a problem. Now these jabs, whatever their quality, are obviously doing some damage. of left hand with a hit to the inside of the glove from Pazienza. Pazienza who's got wins over people like Melvin Paul, Greg Haugen, Gilbert Delay, former world champion on his record, Louis Santana, Lloyd Hunnigan, a faded Lloyd Hunnigan, Dan Sherry, the old Eubank foe, Robbie Sims, Roberto Duran twice. He's beaten all of those, Pazienza. So that's the kind of pedigree you're talking about with this man. As you're seeing again here, Harold Graham has the capacity to make even very talented name fighters look fairly wild and ordinary. But again, he's not doing a great deal. Lots of just picking with that jab, just waving it about and just trying to place it in the face, but not scoring shots and not enough to keep Pazienza off him. I'd like to see Graham throw that jab with something more of a ramrod quality about it. <laughs> it must drive you mad fighting this fella. <laughs> I think it, it would be one of the hardest things for a fighter to do. It's very difficult, very good at what he does, and he, he makes you make mistakes and then counters for those mistakes. The damage by the right eye of Pazienza is getting worse. It's quite a mess now. Nothing you'd stop the fight for, but uh, it will be a cause of some concern, I would think, to the corner. And even as they work in close, Pazienza not really able to catch Graham. Just looking a shade off balance, he got in there at the end of the round. 
ground's OK. And you'd think that this was a real great fight between the two of them, the way they're carrying on there after the bell. But in the build-up, Pazienza was saying how much he liked Harry Gr Harold Graham. He said he's a classy guy with a good sense of humour, a lot of fun. Doesn't mean to say I'm not going to knock him out. This, this is better for Pazienza. He's getting closer. He caught Graham with a, a, some good punches in that round. He's still not been able to work the way he wants. He wants to trap Graham and get his hands free and work. And not a great deal of clean work in that little exchange. But Graham, for me, just too much picking with it. There's the good right hand. That will have took the eye. Graham just picking with the, the jab too much. Ten seconds. Yes, he was on the run at the end of the round there, Graham, and that was the last thing the judges will have remembered. Look at that on jab so far. 67 to 4 for Harold Graham. But how many of those jabs will, have, will have, the judges have scored? Because there's so, there's so very little in them. Are they scoring shots? I just wonder whether there might be a controversy here. It depends on what you're giving weight to. As he enters, the aggression gets him with another right hand and some body shots, and it's early in the round this time. Now, Graham will have to do some fighting here, and this will test maybe how much fighting hard and desire he's got left. As he enters, having his best start to the round and these are the most dangerous moments in the fight yet for Graham. Pazienza with a hand on the rope there, trying to pull, get some extra leverage in and some power. The referee should have seen that and stopped him from doing that, but I think the, the Pazienza camp are now starting to see a lot more shout. They're getting a little more excited that Pazienza is starting to get to Graham. A as he ends it, gets him with the left hand, and it may be getting to the stage where Graham, to some extent, has to meet fire with fire here. He has to up his own work rate, Graham. Otherwise, there's a danger that the judges will score all these late rounds for Pazienza on his aggression. Yes. Graham can't afford to win. He can't afford just to, to look to counter at this stage. He's got to start taking the eye. He's got to start doing more. You need to see that left hand come into play. That was better from Graham. Quite circumspect, Graham. He doesn't want to get too close. Just measuring Pazienza for size. Pazienza just pulled off his own assault for a moment. Maybe he's got a bit tired after chasing Graham around. And remember too, suspicions that Pazienza may be tight at the weight. And if he is, maybe that will be a factor laid on to this. Another right hand, crashing home though, from the American. Pazienza's getting there now, and he looked unsteady on his legs, Graham there, and the right hand. Desperate moments now for Graham, this has changed. And changed quite dramatically. Graham is on the run. Pazienza's shouting at him, talking to him. This wild, flamboyant American fighter who was frustrated for so long here looks now as if the victory could yet be his. Pazienza will not go back to his corner. He wants to carry on the argument. He's enjoying it now. This is the sort of fight he wants. Now he's getting to Graham. There's nothing coming back. Graham's having to take heavy punches. Pazienza's, you know, he's full of it now. He's chased Graham for so long. He's finally getting there, getting close, starting to land with good punches. And you just start to feel that like maybe he's starting to break through the defences. You know, how, a few years ago, or several years ago, we never used to see Graham getting hit this much. His reflexes were always very good. Now he's starting to get hit with punches. Well, I say that the last thing a fighter loses is his punch. The first thing he loses is the speed and the reflexes. And his defense was always based on speed and reflexes. As the answer is just shouted to the American TV people, I'm going to knock him out.
He might be right. Here's the 11th round. The tide has turned here now. Yes, it has turned. Now, Mike Scorecard, Pazienz has worked in the, the last few rounds. It's good, brought it back to level pegging. Maybe a question of how many of the early rounds, which were relatively uneventful, were given to Graham when Pazienza could hardly land and Graham was just keeping him at range, but not doing that much himself either. Graham needs a comeback round here. How much did that last round take away from him? Pazienza breathing heavily himself, having to dig pretty deep. Well, it's at this point that Graham needs a big round. Otherwise, he could be knocked back into retirement, and it really will be the end of the long, long story. There aren't too many places to go for the loser here. Graham just waiting a bit too long, he needs to do more. Graham now possibly needs to abandon his natural style and really go for it. Who knows how the judges are scoring it? It's still there to be one, isn't it? Yes, very much so. On my scorecard, it's, it's level. And I think, again, Graham stumbles back. It, it wasn't a good punch, but it may have just have took the judge's eyes. I think he was off balance more than anything. Yes, I, I think he was. I think he was. He just, just stumbled back with feet, I think. But it all at this part feels a psychological part. And Pazienza can be just spurred on for more work because of something like that. Pazienza has done less in this round. Graham hasn't done badly because he looked at times in that last round as if he was on the brink of defeat. This is a much quieter round from both. For me, Graham needs to step it up, he needs to do more work. He seems to be stuck in one gear though, Graham. I think we've seen tonight that he never can be the fighter he was before. Scoring with a good quick left hook which brought applause from the crowd. Graham's winning this round at the moment. At the moment. Pazienza, you can be sure, will look for a light, late finish, but it's too late. That's Graham's got that one, so this is, could be on a knife edge on the cards, you know. Could be. It's very, very close for me. I think Graham just did a, a little better in the last round. He got off with a few punches. He got some nice clean ones. It was quiet at the opening, but there's a, a good left hook. Pazienza, I think, was, was tired after his big outburst in the previous round. And he just took his foot off the gas, where really, I think he needed at that stage to do a lot more and press home his advantage when he had Graham you know, in a little bit of trouble and rocking, rocking around the ring. Well, be a world title fight for the winner. I think how they scored the early rounds here may be crucial. Second round. Just giving Graham that the 11. Just puts him one point ahead. It's still very close. 12th and last round, they touch gloves. These two have got to know each other fairly well through the sometimes controversial publicity that's preceded the fight. But Graham's got to be busy, he's got to start using this jab, put the left hand in. Because Pazienza is going to try and come on strong in the last round. Graham has to match him. Well, a clubbing kind of left hand with the inside of the glove for Pazienza. Pazienza would look for the big finish. Graham as ever on his bike. Got himself cleverly out of that corner. Well, he got home with the left 
took that time, Pazienza. Solid looking shot. Maybe the winner of this last round will win the fight itself. It could be that close. Yes, it really could be. There's very little in it. Graham's got to try and do more. He can't. He, he's got Pazienza in the corner. He should be letting the punches go now. It'll look good. He did catch him there with a left hand and another one too. Pazienza's been very tired looking in the last couple of rounds. He came on with a big effort from about the 7th to the 10th, but I think that took something away from him. And Graham, if anything, has just re-established a kind of control in the last couple of rounds. And has that been enough for him? Who knows? There's a kind of control, but you would like him at this point to do more, to push home any advantage that he might feel he has. He didn't really land that right hand. Well, the comeback plans of both these fighters depend really on what you're watching now. Pazienza made to miss again by Graham. How many of those southpaw jabs has he thrown to that? Another left hand. Pazienza getting caught, leaving himself open. Well, this is a good last round. They're both putting an awful lot into it. They're both landing with good punches. Graham got through with a good left hook there. He's landed a few of those in this round, and I think Graham has done the better work in this last round, up to now anyway. There goes the bell to end it. Graham thinks he's won it. He may well have done. He's busted up round the right eye now. Pazienza has the fight ended. Bad damage. And Graham, who dominated the first half of the fight, had a sticky period, looked as if he was on the brink of defeat in the 10th. May, May, we don't know, have just done enough in the last couple to last time. Certainly the corner seemed very, very confident, didn't they? Yes, they did. And I, I think... Graham seemed very confident himself. I think he felt that he'd done a Pazienza bad damage to the right eye at the end of the fight. He tried everything, but it just looked as if he was tiring. Once again for these two fight competitors, Graham's punching the air. He clearly feels that he's outboxed Pazienza. The two of them embrace Pazienza, certainly bearing the scars of battle. But uh, you never like to second guess the judges. I think Graham's won myself. I would I would have him as the winner, wouldn't you, Glenn? Yes, I, I would. That's how I have it. 116, 114, two rounds I give Graham to win by. But it was a there was a lot of rounds early on and in the middle where it were difficult to score. You know, they were very close. It, it, it's how you interpreted what was going on. Graham wasn't putting a lot of power into his punches and also Americans just goes for aggression. You know, will he have give a lot to Pazienza because because of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Aníbal Miramontes scores it 116-113. Judge Bob Logis scores it 118-113. And Judge John Keane scores it 117-112. continues he had a dodgy moment in the 10th round but he's done it again and at the age of 38 he is hunting down the world title that eluded him the first time around the judges scoring it by three rounds five rounds twice wider than we thought then. Well, it's, a, it's a great story he'd be very